the larger picture here is that we have 10 out of 12 semitones in Western music here that we can play in the key of A minor and it'll sound good to varying degrees. It'll sound different. All these notes will bring something different to your solo or to the music that you're creating, okay? So, but that's a very liberating thing when you think about it. When you have 10 out of 12 notes that you can hit and it's gonna sound all right, um, at the very least you're gonna hit it, it's gonna be good enough for people to be like, oh, that's kind of, that may be kind of off, but let's see where he goes with it, and then you go to maybe a chord tone or something like that. Um, it's very liberating because, um, now obviously I don't want you to solo by going to random notes, but um, you could just plant your finger down and by chance you're probably going to hit a note that works. Okay? So it's kind of cool. Alright, so um, I guess I could give you an example of how this works. So, let's see here. I'm going to boot up my jam track here that I just created. Alright, so in the key of A minor I'm going to cycle a bit through um, some of these scales and uh, yeah, see how it goes. So there's pentatonic. There's mixolydian. Okay, Dorian here. So that's, and that's even just staying in one place. Okay, so those are all those scales just in one place. So you can have a lot of fun just hitting those notes. Now get used to um, getting a feel for how all how each of these notes sound in context to whatever jam track you're playing or whatever your band is playing. Okay, that's going to help you decide which note you want to hear and want to play. Okay, so have some fun with that. Now the last two concepts here will be my quickest ones and, and the third one here is just the idea of playing one beautiful note. I mean, can you hit one note and have it sound really good? Okay, no matter what note it is. So um, the difference between I would say uh, a note that doesn't sound good that was nice. That was lovely. Um, so that's a note, and fine, that's a note, that's, that's, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a minor third in the context of A, okay, um, but would you want to hear that for three minutes straight, played just like that, probably not, okay, so take one note and try to play it as well as you possibly can, that may I mean, throw some vibrato in there, slide into it, up or down, bend into it, staccato, rhythmic patterns, pinch harmonics, okay, there's a bunch of different ways you can approach one single note, but if you're in a jam situation, um, the idea is that if you can play one note really well, if you can play that one note really well and keep people's attention, then you should be able to play two notes and keep their attention. And then th 
three notes. Four notes and so on and so on. Okay, so the idea is not how many notes you can play, but how many notes you can play well. That's going to help, hopefully, if you apply that to your solos. And the last one is explore without fear. Okay, so don't be afraid to go outside your comfort zone. Um, don't be afraid to explore outside of your scale shapes here. Okay, um, that scale shape isn't going anywhere. So if you start to travel a little bit and get a little bit afraid, get a little bit lost maybe. Then you can always just go find a fancy way to go back into your comfort zone. There's, that's always going to be there. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so there's no use in just staying right here. Explore. Okay, and there's a few ways you can explore um, with confidence. Um, what I like to teach my students is um, exploring with tones. So semitones, whole tones, um, whole and a half tones, and then two tones. So. Um, the idea here is to pick one note in the key of A minor. So if I just jam my track one more time. Here. There we go. So I pick one note. And I'll do the minor third here. Scratch that. I'll do the major third. Okay? So here's um, major third. Now, I can travel from this note backwards or forwards in semitones, whole tones, one and a half tones, or two tones. The idea here is to get used to how these tones sound in relation to the note that you're actually playing already. So what would a semitone going up sound like? So, semitone below. Okay. Now, what about a whole tone going up? Now, I can already feel, because I've been doing this for a long time, that this is not going to sound the best. But, play it three times in a row and it starts to sound alright. same tone and we'll go down a whole tone so if you can hear what's in your head Try and use those semitones and whole tones to move laterally instead of uh, vertically. So, here we go.
you go. So again, remember these things. Music is in the mind, not the scale, and not how fast you play. There are no wrong notes. Okay, so use those notes that are theoretically wrong as passing notes. Play one note well. Really try and play it well. And then try and play two notes well. Then three notes. And then finally, don't be afraid. Okay? It's, I know it's intimidating when you go on stage or you're playing live and you got the nerves and your fingers won't do what you want them to do. Play wrong notes. Um, but try to get rid of that fear and just explore and feel the music. Okay? So and use, use uh, whole tones and semitones. Get used to how those sound, how those movements sound. In context uh, with one note, okay? And uh, yeah, subscribe, maybe, and hopefully there'll be uh, some more videos like this, uh, depending on, yeah, if you guys want them. So yeah, thank you for listening, and hopefully you guys find this uh, helpful. All right.